OSHA releases guidance for all long-term care staff to wear face coverings at all times nearly 10 months after the first confirmed case in the U.S. And the NIC finds skilled nursing facility occupancy reaches another record low. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, November 11th, 2020. Happy Veterans Day. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. New federal guidance is recommending that all staff at long-term care facilities should wear some type of face covering at all times while inside the facility in order to reduce their exposure to contracting or transmitting the virus. The guidance was issued on Friday by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, which, spe which specifically focuses on staff in long-term care and assisted living facilities. The document states that all staff and healthcare providers should be wearing the equipment even in break rooms and other spaces they might encounter other people. And even if the wearer isn't showing any signs or symptoms of the disease. Approved equipment include cloth face coverings, face masks, authorized surgical masks, and respirators, including the approved N95 masks. Staff in close contact with a resident who is suspected of or confirmed to have the virus must use an approved N95 respirator mask or an equivalent, the guidance noted. It also calls on employees to reassess their in engineering and administrative controls like ventilation and practices for physical distancing, hand hygiene, and cleansing disinfecting, disinfecting surfaces to help identify changes that could avoid the over-reliance on respirators and other forms of PPE. Quote, this is especially vital considering the current supply chain demand for N95 filtering face piece respirators, or FFRs, the guidance states. The CDC in March issued expansive guidance on the best ways healthcare providers can conserve and use PPE to protect frontline staff. Skilled nursing operators again saw record occupancy declines due to the ongoing pandemic. New data released last Wednesday by the National Investment Center for Seniors Housing and Care, the NIC. Skilled nursing facility occupancy levels dropped another 81 basis points to 73.8% between July and August, which is a new record low. Overall, Occupancy has dropped 9.6 percentage points since March when it was 83.4% and has declined more than 10.9 percentage points since February, according to NIC. The analysis also noted that occupancy numbers for skilled nursing facilities are down 10.5 percentage points when compared to August 2019. Quote, the occupancy trend was consistent across geographies as both urban and rural areas decreased from July to August, ending at 73.7% and 75.1% respectively, NIC Senior Principal Bill Kaufman explained in a blog post. The report also noted that patient day mix across all four types, Medicare, managed Medicare, Medicaid, and private, all trended differently in recent months. Medicare and managed Medicare patient day mix increased from July to April, while Medicaid and private patient day mix decreased. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.